Hi there Photoshop users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to cover is how to get rid of a color cast like this, this blue color cast. It's kind of typical of a snow scene, especially late in the day. Uh, the snow kind of has that bluish cast to it. Uh, this is after the day after a snowstorm and uh, it's kind of filled in my chair here. And incidentally, I built this chair and uh, I bought the plans online, all excited, put it together. Most uncomfortable chair I ever sat in. So beware of the plans you buy to build chairs online. Anyways, that's beside the point. Now we want to get rid of this blue color cast and we're going to do it with the blur average filter. This is a dead simple way of eliminating a color cast. So the way we do it is this. First thing we do is we duplicate the background layer. Then we go to filter, blur, average and we get this blue. This blue is what is this this image is made up of. This is primary color. Now I want to invert this. I want to get the complementary color of this and I'm going to get it by hitting the control of the command key and I and that inverts it. Okay so now we've got that but that's not much good because it's just all brown. So what I want to do is change the blend mode to color. Okay so now we got our image back. Now the hard part of it is you simply grab the opacity slider and you lower it. And through trial and error, I've discovered around 45, 40 to 50, I guess, uh, is, is, is where it starts to get like a normal color. So we'll, we'll take it at 43%. That's not too bad. Now you can see the histogram. Um, it needs some lightning in here. It's, it's a bit uh, uh, lacking in highlight details. But let's look at the histogram before. Look at that. What a goofy histogram. Can't do much with that one. So I'm going to put this back on. And what I want to do is add a curves layer on here. I could do a levels, but I want to do a curves. I found if I do a levels on this one, I get clipping. And I don't want clipping. Clipping is when it's uh, you get pixels that are beyond black or beyond white. And you, you don't want that because there's no detail left in them. So let's do a curves. So we'll come here. Curves drag it up a bit so we can see it and we can watch the uh, histogram at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to put a point here in the uh, shadow area, one here in the highlight area. Now I'm just going to control tab between them. See if I hit the control and the tab key it goes from one to the other. I'm going to use my down arrow to drag down the, uh, the shadows and you can see it happening over here in the histogram. Control tab to the other one Whoops, hit the control key. Control tab to the other one. Hit the up arrow key. Now you can see the histogram is spreading and the picture is, is spreading as well. It's getting lighter. So now we've got better contrast. So this is that typical good contrast S curve. There's the image now. So let's take a look at it before. Hit the Alt key and this the background. That's our original. Hit the Alt key and the background and it turns on all the layers. Big difference. So that's a simple way of doing a color cast. Now you could even write a, uh, an action to do this. Uh, so let's, let's do that because we've got lots of time. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to bring my little action palette in here and we're going to make a new action. And you do it right at this. I'm going to call it average. It's one of the default actions. Okay, so we duplicate the background, filter, blur, average, controller command I, change the mode to color, and now you can go, you can stop it here and then do the, your work, or you could just double click here, put in 40 percent, and uh, that gives you a pretty good indication of what's going on. And then one further thing you could do if you wanted to would be to add on a curves dialog, but you can do it easily later. So we'll just stop it there. Okay, so let's see how our little action works. I'm going to get rid of this background we've done. So here's our average filter, our average thingy here that I created. Hit the start key. Now I'm ready to go. I can now mess around with the opacity a little bit. Let's take it up. Uh, a bit higher this time, up to 50%. Now I'm going to add my curves on, put my points in, 
and now I'm just dragging it down this time and we're going to drag this one up there's our curve okay there's no clipping going on in the histogram and I've got a reasonably good image of this really uncomfortable chair now so that's how you do it that's how you use the uh, blur average filter to correct color so give it a try you'll like it it's really kind of fun and, and it's real quick it's faster than some of the other methods that uh, that are available and I know it's a subjective method it's a subjective dis, uh, uh, final result each person will have their own view of what's right but it's going to be better than where you started okay so thanks for watching thanks for visiting my site and uh, if you came in through YouTube come and pay me a visit I'd like to see you on my site uh, take care I appreciate your time bye now